Hello, good afternoon. I'm here with Mr. Andy Steele of the Steele Foundation. Mm -hmm. And I have to ask you about this, uh, the name, the Steele Foundation. Is it an actual foundation or what does that mean? We're actually a construction company. We do foundation work. We do supportive excavation, which is sheeting and underpinning. But um, your name, Steel, is sort of ironic because right. you're in a construction-related business. Yeah. So is that your stage name or is that your real name? <laughs> it's the real name. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. And it's spelled S-T-E-E-L-E -E -E with an E in the end. Yes, correct. How long have you been in this business? Uh, I've been in business since 1991. Before that, I was a structural engineer for five years. Oh, wow. Well, you're a pretty rugged-looking guy, so I, I guess you're an outdoors kind of person, right? Well, actually, my, my 9-to-5 job is indoors, uh, actually, with computers and calculators and pencil and studying plans. Well, you don't look like a nerd or anything, so you must be outdoors sometimes, right? <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do, yeah, okay. after work. All right, well, we're here at a project that uh, is in Georgetown, right? Yes. What's the address? 3033 M Street Northwest. And it's a project that you're working on right now in conjunction with a general contractor. Right, CatCon. And, and it's a renovation. Yes. And it's, it's a pretty big project, isn't it? Yes, it's going to take uh, probably at least a year before the project is finished. And a substantial part is the foundation work. Okay. So you find a lot of things when you're digging around in these projects. And uh, um, what are some of the things that you can think of that you found in some of the other buildings that you've been working on? The most uh, common thing that we find are old bottles, because mm -hmm. people would have a trash pit in the back mm -hmm. and fill it up with old bottles. Mm -hmm. Maybe the trash degrades over time, but the bottles would stay intact. Okay. And then sometimes we find uh, old uh, small mementos or, or books even. Oh, and yeah? In fact, that's what I have here today to show you. And, and this is a special book. What's it called? It, it says, The Negro in Our History, and it was written by a well-known... Uh, Historian right. by the Wilson. name of Carter G. Woodson. Right. And on the first page, we can see a picture, a portrait of Frederick Douglass. Right. And uh, this, again, is written by Carter G. Woodson, yeah. who, was a, who was a Ph.D. And this book was owned by Francis Wood, who was apparently the caretaker for the YWCA at 9th and Rhode Island Northeast, Washington, D.C. Um, I also found some other books that were addressed to her that she have actually never even read. And there's some notes in there. Let's see. Yeah. Let's pull out that little, this little ticket here. Uh, this one says, uh, New Negro Alliance, admit one. So, I don't know when this could have been. Probably back in the 40s, 40s or something, or 50s, right? 50s, yeah. We, a lot of interesting sure. stuff in there. And there's lots of notes in the book. You can see where she was studying uh, the history, history of this book, uh, as well as some other handwritten note pages. So this is very interesting. Uh, it's a, a very uh, complete book. Uh, of the history of the, in the United States of the Negroes. Very interesting. So what's fascinating about your, your business is that you probably come across a lot of interesting artifacts, like you said. Right. And you so, learn things. Yeah, not just, but it's not just artifacts. The, the structural and geotechnical work that we do is very interesting in that we, uh, we, we encounter buildings like this. Let's take a look at this building, by the way, that we're here at 3033 M we Street, Northwest. We start to go through the demolition mm -hmm. of the building. And you find the old structure, mm -hmm. and then we have to support the existing structure to allow the new construction to be installed. We do excavation, demolition, installation of temporary support beams, concrete underpinning, and uh, sometimes we have to employ some very unique methods to ensure the structural stability of the ground and the adjacent structures. And the thing is, you do a lot of handwork too, right? Yeah, it's very labor intensive. Uh, which is uh, very unique in, for us because uh, we're, I think we're uh, very unique because we do so much of it and very few people attempt to do that type of work. So in your job, you have to be very picky, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, yes. Yeah, so uh, this project here looks like it's going to take how many months, you think, to really get... Uh... It'll be a good six months before the structure is actually complete. Mm -hmm. The developer is East Bank, and they've planned a redevelopment including uh, retail and some residential and it'll be uh, they'll add some additional stories here in the back. Oh wow. We're in the back of the structure and M Street is to the front. Okay. Take a good look and we'll get a little closer look to it and uh, you can show us part of the interior and show us what they're doing today. Okay. And at this time we're standing about 10 feet above M Street level mm -hmm. and we're going to be excavating over 20 feet deep here. Okay. Well, I mean, it's 
the site is only 20 feet wide, so it's a very tight. So it's literally as wide as it is deep. Okay, Andy, we're a little closer to the uh, rear wall of the building, and it looks like this stuff is, I don't know if this masonry is going to be useful in the long run, right? Right. The current plan is to save this part of masonry, uh, but the uh, general contractor is evaluating. You can obviously see that it's in bad shape. Yeah. Uh, it's almost not salvageable. They might have to take it down and rebuild it. Yeah. But our current plan is to structurally support this to allow this excavation to go down another 20 feet. Okay. Oh man, it looks like a mess right now, but uh, in, in a couple of months it'll really come together, right? It'll be beautiful. And in another, what, eight months it'll be a yuppie haven? Exactly. Okay. You've seen it happen before. Yeah, right across the street. Oh, that's right. There's a place called Juicy Couture. Exactly. You guys were involved in that? It was another uh, similar project. Wow. Well, that place is pretty juicy now. Too expensive for me, but I like it still. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations Great. on that one. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm glad. Happy to. So you guys really dig construction, don't you? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I have to throw that in, folks. You understand. Okay. Well, again, with Andy Steele of the Steele Foundation, based here in Georgetown, involved in all types of uh, projects, commercial and residential as well, right? Yes. And uh, if you leave something behind, it's, it's possible he might take it home with him. So <laughs> got to be careful about that, right? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks very much, and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next project. Thank you, Todd.